uh, and I feel like there's just been a huge load lifted off now that everything is complete I just need to ship the cups and I'm totally done with the 365 day project but that gives me such a great inspiration to uh, make some new things and I just can't wait to get started but first I need to get this ready okay I actually had some buckets of clay and I remember John Britt and how he was doing his reclaiming so I used my my Betty Crocker blender I was gonna fire it up but I think it'll splatter everywhere and then I dumped it in here I still have a little bit more to go to get it all in there but this is a plaster bat I don't know who made it it came with my kiln it was just some it's I don't it's in good enough shape nothing's chunking off so I think I'm just gonna leave it overnight it's been pretty warm here so I'll come check it in the morning see if I need to turn it over I hope this is not an easier way to reclaim my clay it feels like I'm cooking <laughs> making a cake yeah, the frosting. You know what? This looks better than my frosting jobs on a cake. That's for darn sure. Okay. It's ready to come off. I don't know what this plaster is made of, but usually in the center it doesn't seem to absorb as quickly. It's thinner here, but the thicker ones are coming off easier, which is really strange. one of the vinegar crocks that I made that uh, the lid didn't fit but I really like the, the base portion so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it into a vase it does have a gallery here so I'm going to put something on top of that gallery and just kind of build something from it uh, I haven't decided what yet which is kind of exciting so we'll just this clay is very wet Okay, thanks for watching. I just wanted to give you a little update what was going on in my shop, and uh, I will see you next time.